up everyone? Welcome to the 149th episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and if you're new to this series, be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's episode was animated by Biorhythmic Studios. He's also a member of XVX, so if you enjoyed what you see, head on over to these channels and subscribe. Speaking of tonight's battle, we've got the classic creepypasta rivalry between Slenderman and Jeff the Killer. <laughs> okay, okay, you're serious about this matchup. Okay, what's next? Goku versus Frieza. Nah, nah. Superman versus Batman. Nah, I got it, I got it. Batman versus Frieza. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously, why on earth are you doing a fight that's happened about a million times already? Uh, hold on now. Who are you and what exactly are you doing in this recording session? Stop playing dumb, you Stephen Hawking ripoff. You know exactly who I am. I am your replacement, the Saiyan Warlord X. Replacement? No, no, no way you're replacing me. No way is someone with a Dragon Ball username like yours is going to be taken seriously as someone who is unbiased while hosting a Versus series. It's just not gonna happen, buddy. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me your issue with me is my username. You know what? At least I'm honest with my username. Yeah, I'm a Dragon Ball fan, but that tells you something about me. Do you even deserve the name animation in your username? Oh, and if we're gonna be on that topic, I don't see any rewinding going on around here. Ow. Touche. Okay, fine. I'll retract my claims and I'll give you one chance to co-host, but you really gotta live up to your attitude, because right now, you're just a walking bag of insults. Nah, I'm a walking bag of truth and fanboy salt. Alright, so far, this Jeff vs. Slenderman matchup is a dead horse. A literal rotting corpse of a horse. I say we had something different to make this debate more interesting. Okay, smarty pants, like what? You got any better ideas? All right, why not do, and I'm just spitballing here, why not do Adult Jeff versus Slender Woman? Nah, that's stupid. That's something that fanfiction.com would come up with. Just do Adult Jeff versus Slender Man. Teen Jeff versus Slender Man is old news, like 2014 news. Do you really want to be known as the guy that brings back 2014 memes? You're already known as the guy that brings back 2008 memes. Do you really need that much dirt on your name? I say, let's have this fight after the failed Ledger Joker cosplayer finishes puberty. Jeff as an adult, huh? <laughs> if only we could have you start acting like an adult. Did Animation Rewind just tell me to grow up? The same Animation Rewind who animated Sanic 911, Derek Savage Dry Hump, Rashad the Reactor, Naked Dipper making out with Frisk, and the FNAF crew twerking with Princess Peach. Oh, and my personal favorite, Pedo Superman! Did that Animation Rewind just tell me to act maturely? Because if he did, I find that hilarious, sir. Okay, you know what, man? Actually, I stand corrected. But uh, right now, arguing morals is just wasting time. We've got combatants to introduce and an audience to entertain. So with all this being said, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's 149th round of fighters. Jeff the Killer is back on Cartoon Fight Club. The last time he was on here, he faced the likes of Purple Guy and Kara. But this time, Jeff is no longer a teenager. He will enter the battle as a fully grown adult. Okay, okay, okay. Stop beating around the bush. Your girlfriend actually likes it when it goes inside. We're making Jeff as an adult because Teen Jeff has already been ass-raped by Slenderman about a million times. And you guys wonder why he's so edgy. So it was my idea to do something that hadn't been done yet. Okay, the reason why Jeff is an adult is not so important at this moment. What's important is that what makes adult Jeff much stronger and much more dangerous. Well, long story short, adult Jeff has grown to literally be twice the killer he once was. He now wields two knives, slit his tongue into halves like some strange reptile man thing, and... It's gonna be earth for this one. But Jeff's banana can be better described as a mm, banana split. <laughs> Are you saying that Jeff sliced his... Uh... Yeah, AR, I don't know what you're planning later, but uh, you can count me out of it. 
Cynically, his cutting addiction as a teen has only gotten worse. It started back when he was a teenager and he cut his eyelids off and made the smile. I told you he was a failed Joker cosplayer. And from then on, he just couldn't stop cutting himself. Yeah, Jeff is quite masochistic, but it only makes him such a dangerous fighter. Because of his will to handle such pain, he can keep up with many hazards such as bullets, gashing slices, and minor explosives. And we can't really forget about Jeffy Boy's signature mental torture. This ability is designed to do exactly what it is supposed to do, and exactly what I'm doing to you right now. Once Jeff has a lock on his target's brain, he can manipulate it to submit his victim into a real living nightmare. Of course, that's not something that anyone would want to experience, but even Jeff himself isn't so perfect. Yeah, pull back all of the layers and the dude is still just a man. Even as an adult, Jeff has fallen victim to some of the stuff he faced as a kid. The dude goes around wearing bleach whitewashed clothing, flaunting his easily visible shiny knives like a stoner in Utah is flaunting their blunt. It's the only knife that's harder to avoid than a thousand degree knife, and you know how hard those things are to avoid when you see them on YouTube. Oh, don't remind me about those knives. But speaking of his own knives, his two butcher knives are the only physical form of combat Jeff has to offer. Without them, he is severely limited in battle. And also because of his bright clothing, stealth is definitely not a strong suit. Overall, Jeff is a dangerous foe who knows exactly the right places to slice up a human. He is fast enough to dodge bullets and can survive extreme encounters of pain. Oh, okay. Woo, now we get to get into the tentacle hen- Oh, they're not old enough to know about that yet. Damn it! Just like Jeff, Slenderman is also back on Cartoon Fight Club. He's faced the likes of Freddy Fazbear, Sonic EXE, and WD Gaster. Slenderman vs. WD Gaster, I'm pretty sure I helped collab in that fight. Or should I say that I was part of the filler instead of an unused salt assault? Well, beggars can't be choosers, but Slenderman is now facing someone he knows fairly well. On dozens of occasions, Slenderman and Jeff faced in many battles. They would fight over forest territory, victim claiming, and just the sheer fun of violence. Well, don't go off making this sound like some legendary rivalry. Jeff is always an edgy rebel who didn't respect Slenderman's boundaries. Just like a failed Joker cosplayer. And every time he didn't follow Slender's rules, he got punished for it. Okay, while it is true, Team Jeff had a bad rep with Slender, but in this fight, he's an adult. Also, there's a very good reason why Slenderman is such a powerhouse to begin with. For starters, he has tentacles that are strong enough to tear out trees right out of their trunks. Slenderman also has the supernatural abilities to Slender Walk, teleport, disable technology, and manipulate minds. Exactly. The deadliest part about Slenderman's organic dildos is that they can easily regrow and stretch out for far distances, basically making him a long distance killer. His teleportation will give him the advantage of traveling short distances, and his mind manipulation ability will most certainly give his victims a bad time. Did you really just write that into the script? <laughs> It's no question that Slender Man is a powerhouse, but he certainly does have his own flaws. His face is his weakest point, which is why he covers it. Overall, Slender Man's horrific appearance and supernatural abilities have put a scare to his challengers. He has been granted a great deal of experience over hundreds of years. Although he is a demonic creature, he is still considered a mortal being. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place in the Slender Forest with no prep. Well, prep or not, these two already know each other, but whatever. <laughs> Regardless, let the battle begin! <laughs> Get ready for the next battle.
and our winner is Slenderman. But before we discuss why, I'd like to give a shout out to Biorhythmic Studios. Bio is also a member of Organization XVX. This is a group of Cartoon Fight Club animators who have come together to animate their battles in a more organized fashion. So if you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe to both of these channels. Well, it's about butt plugging time, don't you, AR? Don't forget to visit my channel as well, the Saiyan Warlord X, and follow me on my Twitter at BTL Awesomeness, so you guys will get some exclusive stuff that I am working on for CFC. And if you also like my little input, then leave a like down below, and I will come back and torture AR just a little bit more. By the way, there's still no rewinding! And now let's discuss why Slenderman beats Jeff the Killer. Poor Jeff. The last time this guy got a victory, he was facing some minimum wage security guard at a dead-end haunted arcade. But Slenderman is ultimately just too much for Jeff to handle in a one-on-one -on -one fight. You know, we could sit here and theorize all day long, but for anyone who is someone who knows about Jeff and Slenderman's rivalry, you'd know that they've actually fought many times before. Sure, none of the fights have had a clear ending victory, but they would always end with Jeff either running off to save his own life or reassert himself. He stood toe to toe with Slender, but never fully took him down. Jeff, even as an adult, is just, just a failed Joker cosplayer with a knife, or knives in this case, that 16 year old draw pictures of on DeviantArt that end up on Rule 34. Slenderman is a being beyond compare, at least compare compared to Jeff. Compare compare whatever. For Jeff to put Slenderman down, he would need to land some serious strikes on his face. Strikes that would match that of bullets, or even beyond. Meaning he would have to be moving at the speed of sound just to keep up with Slenderman's reaction time. His lack of range attacks is going to be his downfall as Slenderman can easily stay at a safe distance and he would just pummel Jeff to the ground with his tentacles, making the winner of this battle Slenderman. Now in all seriousness, I would like to thank my good friend and co-host of tonight's episode, Saiyan Warlord X. He's been on this show many times as an animator, and I thought it was really cool to give him a shot at co-hosting. But both him and I would really like to hear your input on our performance. On the top corner of this video is a poll, and I would highly appreciate it if you voted your opinion on the hosting performance. Also, please let me know how you think we did in the comments comments below, I want sincere, honest opinions. If you hated it, just let me know, and if you loved it, also let me know. And now if you want to see a two-on-two -two rematch between Jeff the Killer and Jane the Killer versus Slenderman and his top proxy, Maskey, all you gotta do is like this video. If this video gets 10,000 likes, there will be a rematch. Plus, don't forget to comment down your own ideas and stay tuned because the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club.